Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today we're going to a component properties buffet to sample six morsels from our pizza toppings big bite. To start, let's try out text properties. Press Command K to turn this into a component. In the properties section of the right panel, click the plus button and select text. Let's use a writing emoji and the word initial to keep the name short. Make the default value J. This error icon has a tooltip that tells us our property isn't being used anywhere. To fix that, select the J, go to the content section of the right panel, click this arrow diamond icon and select our initial property to make sure it's being used. Next, we might want to hide or show an object. Select this footer and go over to the layer section in the design panel. Click the arrow diamond icon to create a new component property. Rename it and keep the default value to true. Click create property. This will create a Boolean property that we can toggle. We can also swap instances. Move over to the instance selection area in the design panel and click the instance property icon, the arrow diamond. Rename this and create the property. Now we can swap icons from our properties panel. The last type of property is called variant. This will change our component and wrap it in a variant frame. We can make as many variations as we need. Name them as needed. Now we have variants to use in our mocks. Variants are best used when we have a smaller visual difference. We're not toggling visibility or changing instances or text. Finally, we can reorder the properties in our main component so that they are grouped logically based on the use case. I like to have display properties first, followed by user editable properties. Once we create an instance, we can go ahead and toggle visibility and adjust instances and text as needed. I hope you enjoyed our component properties buffet and learned something along the way. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.